All right, good evening everyone and welcome back to On The Grid. There's been another update yet again. Uh, there have been quite a few updates over the past week or so and most notably a lot of these updates have been around force feedback and physics changes. So I think they're getting really quite close to the final release because um, this, these force feedback and physics changes that they made this week have been really... Um, touted as the ones that will be the closest to the final so it's uh, quite exciting to see where we are now with the changes um, a few things that have come in this update again like they did with 9.2 and 9.2.1 uh, they released 9.3 yesterday and then 9.3.1 overnight i guess followed with some other additional um, fixes and tweaks that were not uh, in the initial a 9.3 update so one big thing in this update uh, for specifically for 9.3 um, they have added new hot cars and these hot cars are based on the Brazilian touring cars and we'll just get in and show you those right away so if we look down here we'll see the hot cars there's four different ones so these are based off of um, I know there's a Volkswagen here and then there's the still the Reza models which are in here. So if you seem that these look quite familiar, they are because they resemble the uh, Fusca and the Uno cars, but as a different category altogether, these are touring cars, uh, Brazilian touring cars to be very specific. The other thing that they've done is uh, a lot of UI and HUD fixes, uh, changing the opacity and changing um, kind of some of the, the when the race is finished, the countdown and little things like that. So it's just a lot of minor tweaks here and there. But again, when we talk about uh, force feedback uh, and physics, there's been quite a few changes again. So one thing, one notable thing that they did in this update was add um, a little bit more tweaking on how, or refactoring how the steering arm forces are translating to the force feedback. So one main thing that was happening in some of these cars is that they felt quite light in the center. There was not really a lot of detail, felt a little floaty. It's a word I use just in kind of describing when you feel like there's not really much um, information coming into your wheel. So they had tweaked that so i'll be curious to see what that feels like around the center and there's some cars that um that do feel a little bit more than others formula cars don't tend to have that feel uh, i think it's more when you're getting into supercars v8s uh, i think possibly the p1s or p2s um, as well uh, another thing that came back in 9.3 update is they the soft lock has returned so the soft lock has been kind of missing the last couple of updates but it's still something that they're working on so even though it is there, it's not at its full potential. So they're still working with that. They've also, if we go into controls, you'll see here into force feedback. Now you just have default or custom. So before you had new default and old default, the old default is gone now. So sorry for anybody who uh, was really liking that old default profile, but I think the new default, I think what they've done and what they've updated more recently is is much better. So the now you have default and you can do custom. So it's kind of like in Project Cars 2 where you were able to do a custom force feedback profile. You can do that now in here. And so we'll stick with default. We'll stick with the exact same settings that I had and we'll just try that out. I did go in and do, like I said in my last video, deleted my folder in documents, the Automobilista 2 folder. I don't bother backing it up now because really this is the only place I'm making any changes because there's no career mode. There's no, there's not really any save that I, I'm worried about other than, you know, what's in here. So as far as settings, I think we're pretty good here. There's not really much we need to do. Uh, everything, the cockpit wheel, I don't want that on. The only thing I will go back and do, and just a habit of doing, is I go back in and calibrate the pedals. So we'll just make sure that the, cal the reading is done correctly. So just press each one and make sure, you know, you get the full extent, the full um, range of each pedal, because you want to make sure that it's getting completely from zero to 100, knowing exactly what the full range of each of your pedals are. So don't kind of maybe press halfway or where you usually like to ride the, the the acceleration or the brake just go full on with that and configuration these are all fine i think these are pretty set 
So that's as far as the um, force feedback changes. So um, what I do want to do is let's get in. Let's try one of these cars out. We'll take one of these new ones out first and we'll see. Okay, there's a few different liveries there. I always look for number 13. If, uh, number 13, regardless of the color scheme, I always take it. And there we have a 13, perfect. Okay, so let's do that and let's find, um, well, since this is a Brazilian touring car, let's go on, I'm trying to think which track. There was one track that I was really enjoying. Crevello, I think, is really good. And you can see here, they're starting to update the track um, icons. So Adelaide's still not there. Azure, Brands Hatch is there. Cadwell's there. Okay, so they're starting to update a few of these race icons. So Interlagos, that's an odd one for Interlagos, but okay, so let's try Crevello. We'll do a Crevello short because it's not the fastest car. So we'll try that out and we'll see how she goes. Okay, not really anything to change in the setups. So let's, uh, yeah, I don't really want to bother with setups. Let's just get in. We'll do my typical car sounds. We just want to hear what the sounds are of each. Make sure we get the brake bias set. Okay, so let's down this. Let's make sure there's no traction control or ABS on. Let's get out of here and we'll take a quick run with the other, um, one of the other ones. I think there was the Volkswagen in it. Let's take the, the perfect, we'll take the Volkswagen with the Lotus colors. Now we'll go back on this track. We'll test this one out. So I haven't changed anything in the force feedback settings yet. Um, we still left everything as is. I think I can maybe reduce the natural friction in here just to bring that down uh, a little bit because I don't feel like there's a lot of oscillation happening. I do want to though add a bit more interpolation just to soften it out a bit more. So I am going to do a video. Actually, I spoke too soon. I guess you could see that quite a bit of oscillation actually. So let's put that natural friction. I think that's great when you can see it's still a little bit there. Let's dial that up. Okay. 
Yeah, much better. So it's good when you're when you're actually working on settings in your in your wheel and you adjust them and you can actually see the effect happening, which is really nice. So with the natural friction, um, in some games where you tend to get a lot of oscillation, if you do ever experience that, just dial up your um, natural friction and that'll kind of dial it out, dial out that uh, oscillation in the car. I jumped into this a little bit earlier and it has one of the funniest camera angles, right there actually. Who would ever drive this? Like, what is the purpose of this camera angle? I can, I can't even increase or decrease it. You can see, there's still some camera tweaks to be done. I just want to see how much I can actually throw it into the corner. Yeah, definitely a different feel than the. Uh, in the previous car. Let's see where the tires are. Alright. You know what I just realized? I was driving that track backwards, which is, I actually had a great time with it, but I think I was driving that track backwards because I just lo noticed here, I haven't driven this track before, but I just noticed that the arrow is showing the right way. And I was wondering why last time I got disqualified for going into the pit, <laughs> went into the pit backwards. Okay. So, well, let's try it while we're at it. Let's try it the right way. It'd be nice if my pit crew would just wave me out the right way. And that's the one thing, there's still no warning to let me know that I'm going the wrong way, especially if you haven't driven a track before. Why is my, why is my car way off the track? That's just wacky. Or was I going the right way and now I'm going the wrong way? Because I'm, I'm not even on the track. This is like when your GPS is all going wacky and it doesn't know where the heck you are. So I think that's... I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea where I'm driving. We'll just call this a free roam. Yeah, I had no idea where I was driving. I think I just took made my own route on this track. Anyway, that's a quick look at that car. Let's get out and see if there's anything uh, up in the multiplayer lobbies. I wouldn't mind getting into a, a race, trying something out. Sprint race, Curtiba. I wouldn't mind getting into that Lancer. That would be a... Good race. Those are they're just, they're just fun cars to drive around. Oh, perfect. Let's get in. It's only four people. It'd be nice if we get more people in the multiplayer here just to have a few fuller rooms. Because you usually end up getting one room that has maybe 12, 13, 14 people. But, um, okay, so how many times? we got five minutes. So let's, let's see if the settings saved, first of all. 
Okay, perfect. Uh, now let's see if I can change the spring rate. So no, we can't change the spring rate. So it should be just, I should have grayed out so you can. All right, let's try and get one good lap in. Time for one more lap. It's actually going to be a really fun track. Eight laps. Take me out in corner one, please. Okay, clean into turn one, that's good. The car feels completely different when the tires are warm. So 72 average temperatures, that's good. One thing that is still happening is you got to be quite, quite light on the brakes because they cook, and that's kind of been an issue since the beginning. That there's a bit of inconsistency in the brakes, so you can't go full on your brake. You got to almost trail brake pretty much, or trail brake pretty much every uh, corner. Still gotta fix that field of view because look how close he is compared to what I'm seeing in my mirror.
going too into that corner is a bit nervous. And there's no option to change your field of view for your rear view because I know like an iRacing you can adjust it, but in this you can't. It's much closer than what it looks like. Just snaps out if you. Whoa! If you, if you keep turning too much. See, I'm not sure that soft lock is fully working on this. So when you're turning, you pretty much, you can't just have a consistent turn like this or you'll lose out and it'll just snap out. So you've got to constantly adjust your turn as you're going through for it to maintain its grip. So what I'll do next lap is I'll put my telemetry on so you can see uh, what I mean by the brake. So you can't lock up the brakes. you got to constantly be trail braking. So I have about 40% brake through any, cor any given corner pretty much. I can't put too much brake pressure because it'll just lock up. And that's not, um, it's not the way the car is. It's just a bug that they need to kind of work out. These cars are actually a real blast and they've just been getting better through the updates. I think these are probably the most, will be the most popular car. I would say this, the Lancer, the Formula 3s, 301 specifically is the uh, one at least I have the most fun with. Alright, so I'll run this lap with the telemetry to so show you exactly what I mean by the brake. So 
so it's even lower than what I thought. I thought it was running at about 40-50% break, but it's closer to 20-30%. So you see here, even I got to be careful because if you put too much, it just cooks the brake for some reason. It's not showing it on the temperatures. The temperatures are fine. It's just actually in how the actual brakes are heating up. And I know a lot of people have mentioned about their brakes actually breaking and just overheating and then having a lot of few a lot of issues with how the brakes are reacting so I know that's uh, still feels like it's something that's in the game so if I have to have my brake running at about 20 percent 20 30 percent so all that time I wasn't even aware that he was passing me to get a little bumpy. I'm all for that. I'm curious to know what bomba means. Any Brazilians that can translate that? If you wonder what I'm talking about, I'm looking at the switches up on the top of the panel. There's one that says bomba. Which I can switch that on right now. Let's see if I can catch him final corner. Not today. That was a good race. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, and you know, the cool thing about that is that it, it's amazing how different the car feels when those tires are, you know, at the right temperatures. I mean, going through the first few laps when the cold tires it you feel like you have no control over the car at all it just wants to spin out everywhere but as you start to take it and i think that's just getting used to the track and so forth but i think um you know as you get those tires up to the optimal temperatures it really just starts to feel good and you still feel a little bit more confident running into um into those corners so yeah so again 931 is nice little update uh, just take a quick look and see if anything else has changed around I know they have this is your replace which they put a shortcut to there that's really cool 
Uh, what else? Nothing else here. I know the leaderboards are gonna reset um, at the release. So a release of one point, or I guess 1.0, whatever release that will be. Championship is still not available. Test day, of course, that's available. Nothing different in the cars. So yeah, so that's a, just a quick look at 9.3.1. Hope you guys uh, like the little preview just to get an idea of what changes are there. Seems like I've just been doing um, videos on this the last couple of weeks because it's so many updates they've been doing. But yeah, I think it's it's coming along nicely. And it'll be nice once we could change your, your name, tag in there. So, uh, so yeah, so if you like the video, follow, check out my YouTube, and uh, I'll be back on very soon with another video. I'm still working on a video for uh, all the settings in a Fanatec wheel, so you can explain them in detail. So for, especially for people that have been um, buying new wheels recently, they'll probably want to know, uh, you know, how to get the best out of the wheel. And so it'll be, be a video just to kind of take you through the settings and understanding what they do and what they are. So anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the watching and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Have a good night.